At the farthest edges of the solar system lie the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. Their serene blue atmospheres, massive ominous storms, delicate rings, and moons with icy landscapes hold many mysteries. NASA's Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited these two planets in the 1980s. And the visits were very brief. But now, scientists have discovered some amazing things about both planets. Something incredible is happening on their surfaces that you won't believe. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. There are four gas giants in our solar system. But unlike Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are rich in water, most of which is in the form of ice. Recent studies suggest there may also be oceans beneath their icy layers. But that's not all. Researchers now believe these oceans could be rich in magnesium. Or perhaps composed of something else entirely. We'll delve into that soon. Even though Uranus and Neptune are considered gas planets, they are also called ice giants due to their rocky, icy cores, which are much larger than the amount of gas they contain. Strange discoveries have been made recently, and researchers are trying to understand what is happening on the surfaces of these two ice giants. Some even speculate about landing on any so-called surface of Neptune and Uranus. You may have heard it could rain diamonds on these planets, and now some researchers believe both Uranus and Neptune could have oceans of liquid diamonds. That sounds wild, but how is this possible? We'll explain soon. First, let's look at each planet and the incredible discoveries made so far. Uranus is often the butt of many jokes, but its name references the Greek god of the sky. This freezing world was the first planet discovered using a telescope in 1781 by William Herschel and is about 2.9 billion kilometers from the Sun. Voyager 2 approached within 80,000 kilometers of Uranus and captured a few images. These images led astronomers to believe something massive crashed into Uranus in the early solar system. Not once, but twice. These impacts left the planet rotating on its side, orbiting the Sun like a rolling ball, taking 84 Earth years to complete one orbit. Uranus has 27 moons, which may have formed from these collisions. Its magnetic north and south are vastly different from its polar north and south, leading to bizarre seasonal effects. Imagine a planet with its south pole pointing at the sun while the north pole is shrouded in darkness for 21 years. In 2011, telescopes detected a strange white spot on Uranus's cloud tops, likely a giant methane storm. The Hubble telescope has spotted massive storms, half the size of the USA. The temperature in the methane and ammonia clouds averages minus 128 degrees Celsius, with winds reaching 144 kilometers per hour. Saturn isn't the only planet with rings. Uranus has two sets of rings orbiting above its equator. Neptune, Uranus's icy twin, is farther from the Sun, about 4.5 billion kilometers away, and takes 165 years to orbit the Sun. Voyager 2 got within 4,828 kilometers of Neptune, which appears to be composed mostly of ices and rock, with a rock ice core about 1.2 times the size of Earth and around 10 times Earth's mass. Its atmosphere is 3 fourths hydrogen and 1 fourth helium, with a small amount of methane that produces clouds. Neptune's bluish color is due to light scattering and red wavelength absorption by methane. Like Jupiter's red spot, Neptune has a huge dark vortex called the Great Dark Spot, an anticyclonic storm 11,000 kilometers across, almost as big as Earth, racing across Neptune at 1,100 kilometers per hour. Neptune has the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. The energy for these high-speed winds comes from Neptune's core. Neptune radiates twice as much energy as it gets from the Sun and, despite being farther from the Sun than Uranus, is warmer due to its atmosphere retaining heat from its hot core. Both planets have unstable magnetic fields, strongly tilted relative to their rotation axes, and significantly offset from their centers. Neptune's magnetic field is 27 times more powerful than Earth's, while Uranus's is one-third as strong as Earth's. 
Intense heat and pressure thousands of kilometers below the surface tell a different story. The atmospheres are primarily hydrogen and helium, with small amounts of methane. Below these layers is a super hot, super dense fluid of icy materials like water, methane, and ammonia wrapping around the cores. This has led astronomers to believe it could be raining diamonds closer to their surfaces. Under extreme pressure, methane decomposes, and carbon atoms form diamonds. At its core, Neptune reaches temperatures up to 7,273 Kelvin, comparable to the Sun, while Uranus heats to 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's possible there are oceans of liquid diamonds beneath these ice giant surfaces. Researchers measured the melting point of diamond and found that under extreme conditions, diamond behaves like water, with solid forms floating atop liquid forms. This could explain the strange magnetic field behavior of Uranus and Neptune. Only by sending a spacecraft can we learn more. Scientists urge NASA to send a spacecraft by 2030 to utilize Jupiter's gravity and slingshot towards the ice giants, arriving in the mid-2040s. In April 2021, astronomers detected X-rays from Uranus using the Chandra X-ray Observatory, revealing an unknown aspect of the ice planet. X-ray emissions have now been detected on every planet except Neptune. Planets produce X-rays through fluorescence, scattering of solar X-rays, and emissions from auroras. Uranus scatters the sun's X-rays and creates X-rays through energetic electron or proton collisions with the rings, similar to Earth's auroras. Neptune, the eighth planet from the sun and the farthest known major planet in our solar system, has always fascinated astronomers with its mysterious and tumultuous atmosphere. Recent discoveries have unveiled intriguing phenomena on Neptune that challenge our understanding of this distant, icy giant. These revelations have sparked a renewed interest in planetary science and could have profound implications for our knowledge of planetary formation and atmospheric dynamics. The Mysterious Dark Spot One of the most intriguing discoveries on Neptune is the appearance of a new dark spot in its atmosphere. Dark spots on Neptune are akin to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter, though they appear and disappear more rapidly. These spots are high-pressure systems, with their dark color resulting from the composition and dynamics of the atmosphere at those locations. The most recent dark spot, observed by the Hubble Space Telescope, is particularly interesting because it offers clues about Neptune's atmospheric conditions and the processes driving these massive storm systems. The discovery of this new dark spot helps scientists understand the mechanisms behind Neptune's weather patterns. These spots are thought to be caused by upwelling of material from deeper within the planet's atmosphere. The formation and dissipation of such spots are linked to Neptune's turbulent and dynamic atmosphere, which is driven by its rapid rotation and internal heat. By studying these spots, scientists hope to gain insights into the atmospheric dynamics not only of Neptune but also of other gas giants, both within our solar system and in exoplanetary systems. Unusual Methane Dynamics Methane, a significant component of Neptune's atmosphere, plays a crucial role in its atmospheric chemistry and weather patterns. Recent observations have revealed unexpected behavior in the distribution and dynamics of methane on Neptune. Using ground-based telescopes equipped with advanced spectrometers, scientists have detected variations in methane concentrations that suggest complex atmospheric processes at play. These findings indicate that methane on Neptune is not uniformly distributed, and its presence varies with latitude and altitude. This irregular distribution challenges previous models of Neptune's atmosphere, which assumed a more homogeneous composition. The observed variations in methane concentrations could be due to several factors, including seasonal changes, atmospheric circulation patterns, or localized sources and sinks of methane. Understanding these dynamics is essential for developing more accurate models of Neptune's atmosphere and can provide a comparative basis for studying other methane-rich planets and moons in our solar system. Unexpected Heat Emissions Another puzzling discovery on Neptune is the detection of unexpected heat emissions from its south pole. Using the Very Large Telescope VLT, in Chile, astronomers have observed a warm polar vortex, a high-pressure system that is significantly warmer than the surrounding atmosphere. This phenomenon is surprising because Neptune receives only a small fraction of the sunlight compared to Earth, and its atmosphere should be uniformly cold. 
The warm polar vortex suggests that there are unknown processes generating and transporting heat within Neptune's atmosphere. One possible explanation is that the heat is generated by internal processes, such as the planet's residual heat from its formation or ongoing gravitational contraction. Alternatively, the heat could be transported from other regions of the planet by atmospheric currents. Further studies are needed to determine the exact mechanisms behind this heat anomaly and to understand how similar processes might occur on other gas giants. Implications and Future Research These recent discoveries on Neptune highlight the complexity and dynamism of the planet's atmosphere. They challenge our current understanding and underscore the need for continued observation and study. The findings also have broader implications for planetary science. By studying Neptune's atmosphere, scientists can gain insights into the atmospheric processes of other gas giants, both within our solar system and beyond. Future missions to the outer planets, such as proposed flybys or orbiters to Neptune and Uranus, will be crucial for advancing our knowledge. These missions could provide high-resolution data on Neptune's atmospheric composition, temperature distribution, and weather patterns, helping to unravel the mysteries of this distant world. Additionally, advancements in ground-based and space-based telescopes will enable more detailed and frequent observations of Neptune, allowing scientists to monitor changes and identify new phenomena. In conclusion, the recent discoveries on Neptune, including the new dark spot, unusual methane dynamics, and unexpected heat emissions, have opened new avenues of research and challenged our understanding of planetary atmospheres. These findings underscore the importance of continued exploration and study of the outer planets, as they hold the keys to unlocking many secrets about the formation and evolution of our solar system and beyond. We may soon learn much more about these mysterious planets, so stay tuned for updates. Thank you for watching.